On today's show, we're going to get a look at some special artist filament from Graft Mill. Stick around. Hey, welcome to The First Layer. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here every Wednesday and live stream Saturday night. This is the show that explores the world of 3D printing. And today is no different. Today what we're going to be doing is looking at a brand new filament from a brand new company that started on Kickstarter called Graft Mill. So we've got a lot to cover. Hey, listen, if you're new here, Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Also, ding that little bell so you get notified every time that we do a brand new episode and you're sure not to miss a thing. Let's jump into it. We have got some wonderful filament from a company called Graft Mill. Now, this is the packaging that it comes in. Uh, it is a one kilogram roll. This particular one is matte clay, uh, 1.75 millimeter PLA. Uh, the packaging on this is just incredible i can't tell you enough good things about it um i was so impressed when it showed up at my door from the inside to the out they're all packaged inside a um shrink sealed wrap as well as they all have a desk and pack in there as well so they come to you very dry in a wonderful little box uh, now we got two different ones from Graft Milk. They uh, they reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in trying them, and I said absolutely. Uh, now these are a matte they're a matte finish, so these are a higher quality uh, PLA. Now when I opened up the first reel, um, I was quite surprised that it didn't fill the reel, so I was wondering if it was actually one kilogram. And sure enough, it was definitely a kilogram. It actually came a little bit over a kilogram. Now, the tolerances on the filament is 0 0.05 um, of a millimeter up or down. And it's right within that tolerance. Uh, we did use the calipers to check it out. But uh, now we've got reels on two different machines right now. What I want to do is switch cameras and show you exactly what we've got going on we did a couple of prints that they sent us the STLs for, and I printed these um, at through Cura. I actually sliced them in Cura. So let's cut to that right now. So you can see here that we have two models. This is the Metropolitan Man right here, and this comes in two pieces, a base and uh, the sculpture. Now this particular one uh, was 3D scanned at the Metropolitan Museum in New York City. Um, and then, uh, of course, it was uh, cleaned up and made into an STL. Now, this STL is not available to the general public. They did send it to me, and I really, really liked it. So I thought I would try it in their matte clay, and that's this color here. It looks a little brown, um, a little grayish brown, and it really is a nice color. I hope that's coming through on your screen. Now, the filament is a little heavy. Um, I'm not sure why but uh, it does print beautifully this these were both printed both these sculptures were printed at 1.2 millimeter layer height um in cura uh, using the ender 3 stock settings um so we printed both of these on the ender 3 and they came out quite nicely uh you can see that there's very little layer lines um showing up and i think that more has to do with the printer and less with the print uh but the detail is incredible if we turn these around let's see if we can get a, a nice clean shot on the back there we go there's a ton of detail in this hair and that matte finish is just amazing now this they're targeting this filament um, towards artists uh, they call this an artist filament um, or art filament by graft milk uh, as I said, they launched a Kickstarter to get things going. Now they're up and fully running uh, with this filament. They have 10 colors in their stable of uh, material. And I'll just run those down for you. It's matte black, river navy, fig leaf, flamingo dust, mustard dust, matte camel, umber clay, which I think is the matte clay, um, stone gray, 
tech gray and chalk white. Now, I got to tell you, printing with this stuff, I used, I didn't use traditional supports on these two guys. I used um, the tree supports uh, available in Cura 4.4. I believe I sliced these in. And no, 4.3, I'm sorry. I sliced them in 4.3 because 4.4 just came out. And, you know, they didn't take that long. This, this bigger bus took about four days to print. The base took less than 12 hours. Um, the young lady took about two or three days to print. And uh, I can tell you, there is a little bit of layer line happening right here, but not much at all. If you could feel this stuff, it is super smooth. Um, it is an amazing filament. And I'm really, really impressed by it. Now, here's the downside. Let's get to the downside. The downside is it's only available in the U.S. It is not available to markets outside of the U.S., including Canada. So I cannot order any more of this. Um, but if you are interested in ordering uh, some of this filament for yourself and trying it out, you can always check out the link down below. We'll make sure that there's a link for you. And if a single roll, I believe, is going for $34 U.S., but they also have a monthly subscription service where you'll get three rolls of filament for a low price of $64. That's not a bad deal. Would I use this again and would I recommend it? Absolutely. If you're looking for a premium matte filament, Graft Milk is definitely the way to go. They are going to be expanding their colors um, and their lines very soon. Uh, I have it uh, on good authority that they are going to add different types of filaments as well. So you might see some ABS, some PETG, and maybe some other ones uh, down the road as well. But you go check them out today at graftmilk.com and uh, they will you'll be able to see what they have available. You'll get to see some of the pictures. And maybe there's some STLs that you can download from their website. I'm not sure. But uh, you will be able to get to see. And I'm going to put up on screen here uh, some of the um, images that they have sent to me. Uh, so you guys get to see what the different colors are. Once again, and uh, we'll put that uh, graphic up right now. Uh, matte black, river navy, fig leaf, flamingo dust, mustard dust, matte camel, umber clay, stone gray, tech gray, and chalk white. They're both available in 1.75 millimeter and 3 millimeter filament diameters. So if you've got an older machine like a Lowell's bot that uses uh, a higher end uh, or a, a bigger nozzle, you can certainly get some of this material from them. Um, and at the end of the day, would I buy this stuff? Absolutely, I would. I've got some notes in front of me. I have to keep referring to them because there's a lot of information uh, out there. So what's next for Graph Milk? Well, they say here in their Q&A that more filaments and more materials they want to also move forward uh, filament for fashion, so that's something they want to tackle. More stretchy materials, stuff you can print straight onto clothing. Uh, right now, people use rubberized materials like TPU, TPE, or, or um, flexible PLA. Uh, but they are working on specific filaments for fashion, and it will be available soon, so keep your eyes open to their website. So I want to thank them for sending over this. This uh, video was not sponsored, by the way. Um, they didn't pay me to say anything nice about this. Uh, they did send me over the files to print, and I think they printed out just gorgeously. We'll go back to those once again so you can get a good look at them. And uh, I think they did a fantastic job uh, on especially 3D scanning the, the bigger piece here. Um, I think that you guys uh, will enjoy. Try some of this out for yourself. Go check them out today uh, at graftmilk.com. So... Who do I got to thank? Well, my staff who's not here today, but my wife is sitting behind the controls. She, There she is. Um, she's helping me out today to get uh, some videos put together. And, uh, of course, we always want to thank Spool3D.ca. Spool3D, print it right, print it with Spool3D. They've got everything that you need, of course, from printers to parts and accessories and uh, all kinds of different filaments. So check them out today at Spool3D.ca. Print it right, print it with Spool3D. That's my time for today. I want to remind you again, if you are new here and you got something out of today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ding the little bell so you get notified every time that we do a, a brand new episode. Leave a comment. 
give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's entirely up to you. This is a very short video today, but it was informative. I got to tell you, I'm taking these two pieces home and I'm going to put them on my mantle at home. Uh, just above my television because I think they look so great. Or maybe I'll keep them on the set for a little while. Who knows? Um, with that said, uh, if you're looking to help support the show, you can do so just by being a subscriber and watching the videos. Or you can go ahead and check out our merch, uh, these t-shirts, uh, the first layer t-shirts, which you can get uh, from our Teespring store. And there is a link down below in the description. And uh, we'd always uh, enjoy that. So I'm going to see you again on Saturday night. For our Q&A, it's live with me, and uh, I don't know if Brian's going to be with us or not. He's been really, really busy, and uh, I understand why he can't be with us. We're going to try and get our Saturday night shows all taken care of again and get them back up and running for you. So with that said, my friends, please remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print.